Hello, this is a tutorial on using Google Forms, one of the Google educational apps that is part of our Google App for Education platform. So I'm in my Google Drive account. If this looks a little bit different than yours, it may be because I'm in the new Google Drive rather than the old Google Drive, but essentially everything works the same. In order to access the Google Forms app, you're going to go up into this new button and click on that button and you're looking for Google Forms and so sometimes it may show up in your list if not you get to this area called more and there we have Google Forms so I click on Google Forms now what Google Forms does is uh, really a number of different things for this particular purpose uh, of this tutorial the idea is to show how you can use this to actually ask students some questions and collect some information. Now when we're done, we actually have the ability to um, take the link that is created from this Google Form survey and we can actually email to students. It's probably easier just to put it in your Blackboard class and have students go ahead and, uh, and address the uh, items that you have listed in here. So this is a great way to gather some information. So maybe on the first day of class you might actually maybe uh, you know go around the room, first of all introduce yourself and then go around the room and ask people to introduce themselves and say a couple of things about themselves. So you could just as easily post this information on the discussion board and have people comment there. But it might be just as easy to create a Google form in which the result of the, the survey that you ask the students to fill out ends up becoming an electronic spreadsheet. So that might be an easier way for you to keep the data and access, access the data at another point. The first thing you want to do all the time whenever you're working in Google Drive and you're, you're creating something is you got to give it a name. So maybe you're calling this uh, first day info. <clears throat> you might want to put some information in there about the class, what have you. And then uh, it's just a matter of various types of questions that you can ask. I do have other tutorials out there in Google Forms, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about the different types of questions that you can ask. But uh, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff in there. Uh, maybe uh, something like last name. We're going to make this a text question. We're going to say that it's, it's required. Again, in order for students to, uh, people to answer the question, before they uh, move on to the next question, you have to check it as a required question. So I'm going to add an additional uh, text-based question. And maybe this time I want the first name. Again, text-based, required question, and go to town. I'm going to add something else. Maybe I'm going to... Uh, Let's maybe I'll do a multiple choice. What is your major? <clears throat> and then uh, maybe it's, you know it's maybe it's management. If you're teaching a general education class, uh, you know you might want to be larger. You know maybe you're a, a business major versus a technical major versus an education major, that type of thing. Um, but let's just say we're teaching business marketing, accounting, HR, uh, entrepreneurial, um, administrative, professional, you know, whatever. There's a whole bunch of them. And you might not uh, list them all or may not want to list them all, so you can add an other uh, choice down there, and that gives them a space to type it in. And then I'm going to add uh, another question. And maybe I'll, uh, let's do a multiple choice question again. How many years have you been attending Baker? And we'll say less than one, one to two years. Two to four years. 
roughly three to four years. And over four years. Again, I marked this as a required question. <clears throat> and another item. Career, career goals. Maybe I make it a paragraph text, give them a little bit more space to tell me what they want. And then uh, current occupation. Whatever else that you would like to find out about your particular students. Quite a question. Let's say I'm done. That's all I. That's all I want. Okay. Um, you do have some other types of things that you can fill out on the page. You know, require Baker Co College login to view this. You have to decide. Uh, you know, what you want to do. Show progress bar at the bottom of the form pages. I usually only do that if it's a multi-paged. Uh, form, but something like this is kind of short. You don't need to worry about doing that. Allow only one question per person. Um, it requires a login, so you know then you'd have to have both of those things checked if you want to do that. Automatically collect respondents' Baker College username. That might be something that you're interested in doing. Okay. And then show link to submit another response. That might not be something you might want to do. You might just want them to submit one time, right? So we say done, <clears throat> and we say send form. So send form is going to allow us to actually send an email uh, with this particular uh, form, Google Form survey, to whoever it is that we send the email to. Well. If you got 30 students, 25 students in the class, that's a lot of work to get all their email addresses and get them all in there and type them correctly. What might be easier is actually you can grab this link to share and actually take this web link and you can put it in like your Blackboard shell, which allows students and just give them some instruction, you know, please click on this link below and respond to this brief survey. And then you can gather that information. That could be something you can put on the board uh, right at the beginning of class while everybody's getting things squared away and you're going to talk about the syllabus and the blackboard shell and all kinds of other parts to your class. You can also click right here and you will take what was long, this whole thing here which actually goes beyond this box, and you can actually create a short URL and you can press uh, Control C if you are on a Windows machine. I'm actually on a Mac, so I press Command C. I can then copy and paste this into the Blackboard class, and then I'm then I'm good to go. So it's just a way to gather some information, and then again, it will show up um, in a electronic spreadsheet. So if I click on View Live Form, I can see what this form looks like. I can also get involved in templates and colors and so forth. I did not do any of that but that's something that I can play with as well. And then once I um, actually um, put this form out here, I could go right here to View Responses, and it would pull up an electronic spreadsheet, and you can see that it's time-stamped when the person responded. We would have all of the appropriate information in all of these columns, and then now it's collected nice and neat in an Excel spreadsheet for you, and that might be a good way to access that this data at uh, another time, and also, uh, might be in a nice format for you to do something with. If maybe when you're putting together groups, maybe there might be a reason why you might want to put all of a certain major together. Or maybe you wanted to put groups that had different different divisions. So if it's a, a business course, maybe you want to make sure that you have an accounting, a marketing, a management, an HR, an IT, whatever. You want to have some different types of majors put together in that group so they have a little bit more variety and bringing some more skill sets uh, to the table. So this is just an example of something that you can do in the first week of class to utilize one of your Google Apps, utilize Blackboard. It's something that you can post out onto the discussion board so you can get them working on the discussion board right away. And it allows you a quick, easy way to gather some information on your students that you probably would already do anyway. Thanks.